What's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media bringing you a Dragon Ball Legends video today. So I just want to quickly go over the upcoming Legends Rising banner featuring a brand new Green Bardock and Blue First Form Frieza. Why don't we jump into the news release and see what they're all about. So here we go. The Legends Rising Summon is coming soon. We're giving you a sneak peek at the new sparking characters in the summon. And as we already know, it's a new Bardock and a new First Form Frieza. I know this main man Bardock here. He is going to be the main draw for this banner. I know how many Bardock fanboys are out there and how much love people have for this character. And honestly, initially, I didn't really get it. I was like, you know, this guy's barely in the anime. Why do people love him so much? But then I thought more about it and I was like, kind of makes sense. You know, he's basically, well, first of all, he is the main character's father. He's Goku's dad and he also looks like Goku. And he also happens to be a more edgy, badass version of the main character, Goku, who's usually a little bit more aloof, a little bit more silly. So I'm like, it all makes sense, man. This guy's a badass. He's all about kicking ass. He doesn't, he doesn't mess around. So you know what? I've been convinced. I am definitely on the Bardock bandwagon now. So I'm very excited for him. And also, he seems to be a very powerful character aside from that. So here we go. Bardock, famous for his toughness. He's a strike specialist, he'll never let an opponent escape. So keep an eye out for his main ability, which has a never before seen effect. So to me, that sounds like he'll be locking the enemy in, in, you know, in, in his spot. He won't allow the enemy to switch out characters, which if that's the case, it's gonna be a very, very powerful ability. And also another thing to note is that he is a green Saiyan, which means that he will be a very powerful counter to the Saiyan menace. That is Broly. So if you guys have been having trouble with Broly in PvP, then this Bardock will help you out a ton and you'll probably definitely, probably definitely, you will most likely want to pick him up for those uh, Broly fights and you know, just give those Broly's a run for their money. Of course, there's also the other character that's featured that, you know, it's still exciting, but I think people are going to be a little bit less hype about and it's the first form Frieza. I think it's a little bit weird, first of all, that we already got a sparking final form Frieza and now they're giving us a first form Frieza, but I don't, I don't think it really matters in terms of, you know, how good these characters are. Like, obviously in the anime, final form Frieza is a lot more powerful than first form Frieza, but that doesn't mean that's the case in the game. And he seems pretty good too. When storming with strike arts, he won't be intimidated by the kickback of enemies' blast arts. Uh, Behold the Emperor's unrivaled combat style, totally unique from existing ones. Some people said, oh, he might be immune to blast arts. I'm like, no, that's that's definitely not gonna be the case. He's not gonna be taking no damage from blast arts, but it does mean that he won't be knocked back by blast arts. And also, from what it seems like, you know, just based on what I'm reading here, maybe if you're going in for a strike attack and the opponent attacks you with a blast art, you you just barrel right through it. Like you might still get damaged by it, but it won't knock you back. You just blast right through it and still hit them. Or at the very least, I guess you won't be knocked back by, I, I, like, the worst case scenario is that, you know, you still take damage and you won't be able to attack through the blast arts, but you at least won't be knocked back by blast arts. But to me, it sounds like you can actually use a strike attack to go through the blast. But hey, that's, you know, that's totally up to different people's interpretations. That's what it sounds like to me. Let me know what you guys think. Either way, these guys both sound like they're going to be really, really good. Um, <laughs> some people have been like, yo, don't summon on these banners. Don't summon for... Legends Rising because it, it's a trap banner and you know in my opinion I'm just like yo if you're gonna say that maybe every banner is a trap banner just don't ever summon in this game then only do singles only do singles never summon again because every banner obviously is a trap banner <laughs> obviously I'm joking because that's not my opinion to me it kind of seems like these legend Legends Rising banners are kind of like um, you know Dokkan Fest exclusives in, in Dokkan Battle where they're only exclusive to the Legends Rising banners and then for the Ultra Space Time banners they're more, you know, like the general general pool kind of featured units where, you know, the guys that are going to be in the Ultra Space Summon banners will come back more often in rotation as part of the Legends Rising banners. That's what it sounds like to me at least. Seems like these guys are going to be a little bit more powerful, a little bit more rare to get, and they won't come back as often. So if you really want the Bardock and you really want this First Form Frieza as well, which I'm excited about. I, I love me some First Form Frieza. I think it looks really cool. I love his design. I love his little space chair or like... I don't know, baby seat or whatever you want to call it, but I think it's cool. So I'm definitely going to go for them. And also, another exciting thing I wanted to mention before I end off this video, end off this video, is that um, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel for a while, you might have noticed a distinct lack of Dragon Ball Legends videos. And there's a good reason for it. Basically, I lost my account about a month ago when I broke my phone. I thought I had linked it to Facebook, but apparently it was another account I had linked to Facebook. It was like a side account that was completely fresh anyway. So basically, I lost my main account, and I was very, very upset about it. I was like, 
This is stupid. Try to get my account recovered, but apparently Dragon Ball Legends doesn't have an account recovery system like Dokkan does. So basically, the account was gone. Kind of my fault, but also I feel like they should have an account recovery system. Anyways, doesn't matter now. The account's gone. I was pissed. I was like, you know what? I quit Legends. And now I'm like, it's been some time. I've been able to cool down, play some other games. I'm good now. It's time for me to jump back into Legends and, you know, just make a comeback in full force on this channel. So this is, that's what I'm going to do. With this banner, I think Bardock and First Form Frieza are a good excuse to jump back into the game and become a part of the community again and also just bring you guys more content for the game because I know a lot of you love it and a lot of you play it. So um, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to be starting a fresh account. I'm going to load it up with at least 10,000 crystals, maybe more, 12,000, 15,000, we'll see. And when this banner drops, I believe it's dropping tomorrow after the maintenance, which will end at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or Eastern Standard? Let me, let me check actually quickly the... The news for the maintenance here. Give me one sec, guys. Okay, uh, 4 p.m. EST. So, okay, after when it ends at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that night, that afternoon, which is tomorrow afternoon, maybe around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will do a live stream of my summons with 10,000, 12,000, 15,000, something like that crystals. Um, if you guys are excited and watching that, you want to see it, then make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification button so you're you know, the first to know if something exciting happens like that live stream summons. Also, if you're so inclined, follow me on Instagram at Tiger Uppercut Media, at Tiger Uppercut Media, where I will get, make sure that you guys are updated as well. I'll be posting just cool things from my general life or from what I'm doing in, in the game and things like that as well. So if you guys are interested, make sure you follow me on that. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys are excited for the Bardock and the Frieza. I definitely am, and I'm about to jump back into the game and just just wreck things, mess things up in PvP, and just, you know, all those good things. Anyways, guys, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time watching to the channel, and you like what you see, then consider, maybe, just maybe, hitting that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. But as always, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger, with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.